What's going on, JK family? It's your girl, Kenya. It's your boy, Josh. And we are back, back with another reaction, reaction video. video. And today's video is... We got part of paper when I was a little boy. Here you go. <laughs> part of paper, y'all. Y'all been asking for this yeah, one. Yeah, for a minute, though. Y'all been asking so for this one. Y'all been asking Yes, and we just looped around it. Shout out to Nick J uh -huh. for recommending this song. Actually, shout out to every single person who recommended this song, y'all. We got some really good views on part of paper, our last, last part of paper. Uh-huh, and, and so so today we're gonna do when I was little. We rocking with him. Yeah, slow up. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe on time. One time, as Babe would say. Always. You about to get right. Oh wait, what's today? Vlogmas. Day eighteen. Eighteen. Ooh, almost dead, man. Christmas next week. Y'all ready? Dude, I know I'm ready. I can't wait. Let's get it. Part of paper. Chill, Colonel. You know what was that? Some free my music. I watched Dead Man Never Die. And love and memory of Matt by his grandma. Grandma. Oh, grandma. We love music like this. Mm -hmm. That tells stories. So basically what he's starting off was when he was little. He bought the rap about when he was little. Yeah, because he didn't get he didn't get into it just not, yet. Not just yet. But, but just seeing the very beginning and seeing the tribute to his grandmother. Mm -hmm. Um, we're just catching the vibes that he's just getting ready to tell a story about when he was little. Well, and yeah. we always love stories like this or music like this because it, it just feels like it's reaching um, people who may be in the same situation right. as them mm -hmm. and people who really need to hear music like this, especially the younger generation mm -hmm. who might be that little boy that Potter Paper was um, when he was their age. Mm -hmm. um, well, to his age over that age now. Yeah, mm -hmm. that never probably healed from it, right? Mm -hmm. So, Absolutely. yeah, I love stuff like this. Yeah, like, see the pop. When I was little, I was scared of the boogeyman. I was scared of scumbag police in a bully van. Yeah. Hearing robberies on Orford Lane with a hooker's hand trying to get those kicks. Then he said that I couldn't have. When I was little, fam, I never respected my teachers. No I respected olders, bandits, and dealers. Mopeds, one tens, angels, and beamers. On my push back, up and down in my feelers. When I was little, fam, I never knew I was poor. We was on the block, yeah. Always on a draw. One pound, chicken chips, you can't want anymore. Yo, there's so much stuff that he just said just now. Uh -huh. Yo, this is what First I First of all, love. I was scared of the boogeyman too when I was a little I man. was too. I used to stare at the closet like this. <laughs> My uncle used to always say, man, don't go downstairs, man. The boogeyman will come get you from lights cut off. Yeah. I'd be like, shoot, ain't no boogeyman down there, jump. And then I hear like little footsteps. I'd be like, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if you guys remember when, because my aunt used to do this. She used to like, she used to push me inside the bathroom and oh, she'll no. be like, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Do y'all remember Bloody Mary? Okay, listen, I'm not scared remember. of Bloody Mary. Do you remember Bloody Mary? No. See. I don't want to say that. Me There's either. a movie, I think, on Bloody Mary, too. Mm -hmm. But he also said um, that he never knew that he was poor. And that is so, that just also goes to show that. You know, um, a, a parent, especially if it's if it's his mom or his dad or whoever, mm -hmm. they will do anything to make sure that you don't know that you guys are struggling. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. And and I know that that was definitely. That's but even if they were struggling, he like he basically saying he grew up like that. So to him, it's normal having like ah. one, having one meal a day. You know what I'm saying? Or having like bread and cheese. But here's the lunch, thing. You know Why did they think it was normal? Because, like, let's just say for me or a lot of people that I know, you could be in a situation where when you look back on it, mm -hmm. you're like, that doesn't seem like we were the richest people in right. the world. Mm -hmm. But in that moment, it didn't feel that way because it, was it felt, you. it was normal mm -hmm. and it just felt like a family, mm -hmm. right? We felt like a family. Your home still felt like a family. You loved your mom or mm -hmm. your dad. You loved your siblings. You loved the people around the block, you know, yep. that was your OGs or whatever. Mm -hmm. But as you got older, you started to realize that's not the way I should have been living. Absolutely. You he, know? Said he, did, he, he never respected teachers or police. It was always like people on the block and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so far, so good. Yeah. I got seen it before when I was little fam, I never got attention from girls. No fat boy as I track you every day and he smells. That's how I you babe. Yeah. Yeah. Like I know. Like 11 or 12. It's a couple years <laughs> like the jail. When I was little, we used to do all nighters. On the 25 bus to see the West End lights. 
Drop hand in my pocket, but I miss them times. Car, we were just some hungry little kids them times. When I was little, the judge sent me film for the summertime. It made me worse. I come out and got a gun in line. But since then, I've been in and out a hundred times. He said when he was Woo! little, the judge sent him to Juvie for the summertime. Came back out, he just became worse. And then wow. he was just in and out of prison after that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then he said something about um, he never really got girls like that when he was little. How many of y'all in the comment section when y'all was younger? Yeah, man, I was a fat nigga with buck teeth. <laughs> A big old bush, man. Nobody wanted me, man. Was it hard for y'all young boys to to get the girl that you like, the girl in your dreams? And ladies, keep it real. Was it hard for you? I mean, it wasn't that hard for me. It wasn't that. It hard. wasn't hard for you. No, no. Some people, of y'all, some of y'all ladies, people, it probably people. was hard because some of y'all was looking busted when I when okay, I was younger. Okay, I had a little moment. <laughs> like I had a peach fuzz oh when I was God. younger. I still do have a peach fuzz, but. I kind of try to clear it up now. Yeah, you got you trim that joint down. But back then, I had a thick mustache. For real? And people, oh, man, this I boy, fried you up. This boy, he used to be like, "Oh, you got a mustache. You're a guy. You're a boy." <laughs> and I'd just be looking so sad. Like, why you never uh, shave it? I wasn't allowed to For real? Oh, when man. I was younger. Uh, I wasn't allowed to shave. You know, when uh, you're a young girl, yeah. you can't shave. Mm -hmm. So I had to go through that whole phase until finally, my mom was just like. Go ahead and shave, cause you, you look crazy. You look like a, you look like a boy. You look like Juan. She used, she used to call me Juan. Oh no. Joe, it's a shit. When I was little, shit up for friends lost forever. But I seen them come and go, it only made me better. And seeing my success probably only made them bitter. I learned from my mistakes and it only made me clever. When I was little, I used to put my friends before my family. I wish I could go back to my sisters and my nan and me. Being a good kid, I went to college or homeschool. Instead, she was writing me letters, sending me postals. I'm in a crack house and they're shooting up snowballs. I come home to shower and get a million phone calls. Woo! Of my hills, I've been... Mm. Dang it! When he was little, this man done been through a lot. A whole lot. He, he was talked saying about how, crack. And... Yeah, he was saying how like when he was little, he wanted his nanny like his nanny like to go to college and stuff like that. But instead, she was writing him letters because he was locked up. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Y'all, okay. Part yeah, of paper. Part of paper. Yeah, I like him a lot. Yeah, yeah. He definitely got a story. I'm interested in him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said he used to put his friends before his family. Yeah, because sometimes like. Your friends are more important to you than your own family because right. sometimes you with your friends more than with you with your own family. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you with your friends 24, 24 hours a day, basically. Right. Like you see them when you wake up, you go to school together, you come home, you right. hang out. Right. One o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, yeah. and you go to sleep, you yeah. wake back up and do it all over again. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he was saying when he was little, he used to watch like his stepfather beat his mom, wanted to put a blade to his neck, but instead he ran to the park. And that's why he said he felt shame. Uh -huh. Because he felt like he didn't help her. Uh -huh. And that one really stuck out to me, you guys. It really did because I know what it's like to feel like you want to help. In a, an abusive character. situation, but you can't because one, mm. you're so young, and two, you're afraid too. Mm -hmm. You're afraid of what's gonna happen to you, mm -hmm. and so you run. And as you get older, that really sticks with you, and you become um, super just regretful, mm -hmm. sometimes even depressed, and you take on that weight yep. as if, and it's almost like guilt too. You feel guilt because you feel like, dang, I didn't do anything to save this person. You look like a sucker. Right. You right. feel like you look like a sucker. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's not your fault because what were you supposed to do at five? Right. What were you supposed to do at six? Nothing you know what I'm right. saying? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's, it's a tough situation, but if you've ever felt that way, um, just know that it wasn't your fault. There was nothing not that you all. really could do about it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and forgive. Don't forgive, dwell on that, John. For real. Don't dwell mm -hmm. on it. Forgive and forgive yourself mm -hmm. for even feeling like it was your, your fault. fault. Mm -hmm. Mugs and a million pebbles hit jail, hit road, and it's back to the schedule. And I was little, and now for a blow like this, get dough like this. Yeah, ain't on the beat, touch souls like this. How it go like this?
this. Got a bad bitch with me just to roll my spliff when I was little. And therefore I blow like this, get dough like this. Got my pain on the beat and touch souls like this. Yes! Shit. Come on, pot of paper. Like this. I like this a lot. That it's man said, better than the last one. It's better than the last one. Mm -hmm. That man said, when I was little, I never knew that I was going to put my pain like this yes. and mm -hmm. reach souls like but this. this. Yep. Yo. And, I, and I, he's even reaching me. Right. And, and some of the things that he just said that I know I've experienced in my mm -hmm. life. Like, you never thought that your story and the things that you went through in your life, you would be able to help other people. But that's right. a part of our testimony, Absolutely. right? You it go is. through things and you use those things. You overcome them and you use them mm -hmm. to help the, to next, help the person. next person. So they don't yeah. go through the same situation. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. I really like that whole part, y'all. Yeah. This I love this song. This was dope right here. Part of paper. He got something on. Let's see. You gotta tap your brains. Every hood's got grass and grass has got They snakes. always do this. Yeah. So make sure you learn from your mistakes. And make sure you learn from my mistakes. Yeah. Oh, so basically he got a mixtape. Yep. Well, if you guys know any other pot this of paper. This was two months ago, too, so this is new. This new type is um, Really? Yeah, this is fairly new. If you guys have any other, like, pot of paper recommendations. Yes, let like, us know. Songs that you guys really, really like, please mm -hmm. comment in the comment section, y'all. Yes, Lord. I think what we're going to start doing is every time we post a video, mm -hmm. under the in the comments, post another song from that artist that we reacted to, mm -hmm. and we'll pick a song from the comments, and we'll react to that on the next video in regards to that, that artist one. okay in regards to that art artist that way we're a little more organized mm -hmm. and we're will be we'll be able to really listen to the music that a lot of you guys are requesting because mm -hmm. sometimes it's a little hard yeah, to absolutely. get through all of the comments and all of the requests mm -hmm. and we don't want you guys to feel like we're ignoring everybody on yeah. we're not on y'all yeah so we're gonna try our best yes, but no. um i love this song y'all mm -hmm. this was a hit this was the hit like right here. Made? I like this a lot. I like this a lot. And it's fairly new too, so yeah. definitely gonna check out that mixtape. So y'all yeah. gonna see more reactions yeah. from the mixtape from us. So. You guys, we love y'all so much. Love y'all. Please comment in the comment section. Yes, Let us Lord. know what y'all think about the video. Us think. Let us know what y'all think about the song. Yes, Lord. Make sure you also like, share, comment, and subscribe on too. Time. Yes, Lord. On time, you guys. And stay tuned for some more vlogmas. Yes, Lord. Be positive. <laughs> stay blessed. Be kind. Oh yeah. And be loved. And we'll catch you guys. Mm -hmm. in the next episode. Peace.